Hi, boys and girls. Here we are in Zentangle land, and we are unveiling our uh, instructions for doing aura knot. And this is a tangle that we posted on our website, on our uh, newsletter, I'm sorry. And uh, we invited everybody as a challenge to see if they could figure out how it was done. What we came up with is a way of doing any number of pointed star in a very easy way. So the first step is to do a series of points in any order or any way as long as they connect it at the end. The next step is we're going to start joining the edges. And in this particular um, uh, variation, uh, we're going to just skip one point. So we're going to take this and we're going to join it here to this one and skip that one. Then we're going to aura this line and go to there. So we're going to turn the tile clockwise and go to the next one and we're going to join it to here and then aura down to here. Turn the tile clockwise and this is your point at the top there. Join it, aura turn, join it, and it doesn't even matter if you join it in kind of a curvy line. It sort of makes for a really interesting star. Say join here to here. So there's our beginning of our aura knot. And, so, and that's so beautiful, even by itself. And you can see the whole hol holaba effect, because mm -hmm. the, the clues that we had was it aura and holaba. Okay, so what we're going to look for now, there's only one line on here that's one continuous line, and that's where we're going to always go back to. So this line right here was the first one we put down. So... That's sort of, if you want to even mark it a little bit, so you'll know where you're going to begin each time. We're going to, in our usual way, we're going to aura that line again. Turn it clockwise, aura the next line, turn it, The beauty of this is it works with even numbered or odd numbered uh, triangles. Any, yeah, any, any number. Any number works. So at, at first we think, I mean, Maria came up with this idea. She had All she had when, when she was starting it was a piece of newspaper and a pen. And, and you should have seen it. it was like totally covered with this brilliant, brilliant idea. And it was so much fun. And you see in the newsletter, the whole table was, was covered with explorations of this. And at first we, you know, we did a, a three-pointed one, then tried a four-pointed one, and then you you can do any shape, and it's it's really really simple and very very exciting. So it was so cool that we decided, well, let's just put it out there and let let people play with it because it's very difficult to figure it out. So now. We've done this aura on each one of these points and, and pretty much fill the points. If you want to continue, you can. It's not necessary, but you can. By just keep going around.
there you go, or a knot. So why don't we, we'll show you again with a, a different number of um, points, and, um, and, and then we'll show you some tangulations. Do you want to try one, Rick? Sure. <laughs> so when we first started, we did three. And the beauty of this is that it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical or anything. And then we just, because then you just take it and come around. And even if it's not this perfect curve, it all ends up working really, really well. And so now it goes aura, halibah. And halibah is one of our tangles, and it's done by drawing behind. So that's why we're saying the halibah technique. And aura is to echo a line right next to it. So that's what we're doing here. And that's the basic shape. And so, as Maria said, you find that one that is continuous and then go back to that one and just just keep iterating it over and over again. And it has this very, you know, a lot of people commented on how it was... Um, had a Celtic knot feel. And it, it, you can accomplish that without having to figure out how it's done. You know, like you don't have to put the dots down and do all the planning ahead of time. And you can imagine, you know, we'll come back to these later and, and do some shading, but you can imagine how much fun this will be to shade. So there, there's another version. And we could continue in, in this, or some of the other things we've done is like put tipple in those spaces. Okay, so now we're going to get a little creative. We're going to start again with any number of points on your star that you want. And they don't have to be all the same. They can be kind of ragged. Doesn't matter. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Seven pointed star. So now, when we did it the first time, we joined this to this right here. Just going to the next, skipping, uh, one, skipping point. one point. This time, we're going to skip two points. We're going to take this line and join it to this one with our aura. So this is our first stroke. Then we're going to take this one, skip two points, and join it here. Skip two points. And you can see that even throwing in a little bit of a curve there for character really adds to it. And again, it doesn't matter seven or eight or six, it, even or odd, it all works the same. The same method works for any, um, any number of facets or points. Okay, so we have our basic star again. Um, it's just going to end up looking a little different because it, it joined a little differently. So now we go back to our, our first stroke down. And again, we're going to do the aura. Turn it to the right, clockwise.
And then following that curvy line, it's so pretty. This just makes itself. Don't even have to. It does. I made that a little bit different there, but I think it's going to be okay. So it's also very forgiving. So I think that's pretty cool. We could add some uh, perfs or some other patterns inside. And I think that one looks just great the way it is. Another way we can do this is we'll start with a basic shape, just like that first one. And even though this looks a little funky, it's all going to work out. Because you can still just go here, and the same principle applies. So you don't have to get oh, that those initial elements aren't perfect it it really is very very forgiving and you can you can make them whatever perfect means but you can make them really symmetrical or not but the point is if you don't make them symmetrical that's also okay so what you can do now is make another set of shapes okay and we're going to do the same thing we're going to connect it and then we'll connect it and or it and so what we'll end up with is, or are, two of these that will weave together. So now I'm going to go back to the first one, and, and again, this will work with any number of points. We just, I just did three and three because it and a curved and straight because it's easier to follow, but you can do this with any number of shapes, and we'll just, again, oraing, and then in the principle of Hollabaugh, we never cross a line. We always go behind. So just by auraing and never crossing a line, these will weave together. And we're sort of going fast here, so you can get, get the idea, but we really encourage you to get this and play with it. So now we'll go back to that original one. You can see it's the one that goes end to end. And now we'll aura and hollabaw the straight-edged one. And you can see how they're all interweaving together without planning, without weaving. So instead of taking the time here to finish it, this is, this is what happens when you keep doing it back and forth and back and forth, and then you can shade it. So you see each one works itself into the other, and they, they interweave. So that's, that's another um, application of, of Oronaut. 
So in, in looking at what Rick did there, we could try it again. I'm going to do it with instead of points. See what happens here. Um, okay, so we're going to. I'm going to. I'm going to do the thing where I'm skipping two on this just to kind of get you used to seeing that. There's the bells. Now Rick just introduced another triangle, but I'm going to just introduce a ribbon, sort of weaving around and in. I've now done so many of these that I can do them in my sleep. Okay, so we're going to go back <coughs> to the original and start. Adding the aura. And unlike Rick, I'm not going to um, go back and do it on the ribbon. I'm just going to do it on the original star and let the ribbon just weave in between. You don't even have to worry about when you're going to finish because it just sort of finishes it on its own. So turn. So that's kind of cool. We go. I love that one. So I'm sure you're watching this and you can like, oh, oh, I can do this with that. I can do that with that and, and play with it in so many ways. And you can you can nest different ones together. Um, here's one that we we did. Where, where is that? That we didn't put on the website, I don't think. But this is one Maria did of like starting one and then putting others, nesting others into it. 
So anyway, you guys have fun with Or Not. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, send us some samples. These are so great. And it's so we had so much fun with this. We know you will too. And thank and you to the thank winner. You, and of... to the winner of Aura Not. Her name is Maddie, and she will be getting a little something in the mail. And uh, everybody who actually sent us instructions where they they made an effort to do this we're going to put all those names in a hat and pick a pick, pick, some, pick a bunch of stuff and up. and we'll we'll send those off too so thanks to everybody have and fun see you soon bye <laughs>